Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Winter and today I'm doing yet another video and today's video is going to be about five different CSGO workshop maps that will help you uh, with different stuff in CSGO. Some will uh, help you smoke, some will help you recall and stuff like that. So let's get right into it. Alright, so we're at this first map right here called Crash's View Model Generator. But before I talk about this map, I just want to say everyone that is trying to add me on Steam, add my other account instead. Link will be in the description. I will accept all friend requests uh, that I get until my until my friend list is full. So this map right here is pretty self-explanatory. It's called Crash's View Model Generator, as I said, and this is a map where you can change your uh, view model. And if you don't know what the view model is, uh, it's basically how you see your weapon. I'm gonna show you some YouTubers or pre preset view models from some YouTubers. So we got three clicks Philips, it looks very very different. Uh, we got the Quake, Trillix, Trillix looks pretty normal. Uh, but you can also change it manually. Uh, you can sh it's easier to see on the pistol. You can change it to the left, and you can change it up, down, to the right, to the left, backward, and forward. So you can make it look uh, exactly how you want it. You can change the fob and we got some more preset ones. You can change it to the left and the le uh, right. And also if you want to save your, uh, uh, your view model, you can press here. And you can just copy paste this into a little folder. Uh, just as I did right here. This is my, uh, my uh, view model before I made this video. So I wouldn't uh, screw it up by changing it. I do recommend getting a view model that doesn't cover uh, that much of your screen. Quakes is pretty good for that. It doesn't cover up anything comparison to this. It's cover up all the right side. And this is really bad because it <laughs> you basically can't see anything. Uh, but three clicks is also very good. It becomes very clear and stuff like that. So that's it for this map and let's get right into the next one. All right, so we're on the second map right here and it's called Recall Master and this is also pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this map will help you spray and as you all know, uh, the AKs and the M4s all have different spray patterns as you guys see here. It, this is the spray pattern from the AK. So basically when you spray, uh, you need to move down, uh, the crosshair down, uh, accordingly to the spray pattern. If you just spray like this, it will go all over the place and you won't hit the target. So this will help you with exactly all guns, I believe. If you pick the M M4, your spray pattern will change and you will also see the green dot change as well. And it's very, very helpful. You can also uh, show impacts or not show impacts so you see where you shoot. And it's very very cool. This map is actually so well done. You can you can see the green dot in the middle. You can turn that off and on. Uh, you can see bullet time, infant ammo, of course, uh, moving target. You can put it so it moves. So you can train on that as well. Uh, multiple targets. You can have three targets. Uh, no spread. I don't know. I'm not sure what this means. Uh, maybe it will help you spray or something like that. I got no idea to be honest. T target. This will add some T targets to your practicing uh, thing. So if you go ahead and press or shoot on this button right here, you will have auto spray on and this is pretty funny. It will help you spray automatically and you can see exactly how the spray works. Uh, it's pretty cool actually. Basically aimbot. So just a big shout out to the team that made this map. I think it's this right here. Uletical? Yeah, I got no idea how to pronounce that. But yeah guys, I think that is it for this map. Let's hop into the next one. Alright, so this next map is called Pre-Fire Practice Mirage. I don't know if it exists on like different maps, but this is one I tried. And as you see in the background now, it's basically just a pra you get a practice run on a site or you can also train on middle or, or on B. In case it's on A, you get to run out and he has placed different bots on uh, normal places where people normally defend from. And you get to train by just rushing in and killing them all. They do shoot back, you can also do different settings so the bots are better and stuff like that. So really try this map out and it's also really fun so just try it out. Alright, so this next map here is probably the most famous map on the actual workshop. Uh, this map will uh, let you edit your crosshair by just a few clicks. As you see, we got a bunch of preset crosshairs here from all of the pro team pretty much exist. We got the full page here, uh, half one here. So, <laughs> as you see, we got some fun ones here. That is pretty much for just trolling. And then you got some more serious here. 
And then you got the pros here. You can also make your own one by selecting the colors here and also like changing different stuff here. Uh, let me see. You can also press here and you will get like a whole thing where you can choose exactly how you want it. And then you can go, go out and compare your crosshair to different colors on the map. You see mine is pretty bad actually because it kind of, kind of melts in with the sky here. But I kind of enjoy this color. So as you see it's a very very easy map. Now we got this thing here where you can just pretty much adjust everything on the crosshair. I think it's a very nice workshop that you definitely should try out and try some different crosshair. Alright so right now we're at the last map and as you guys see it's basically a reaction map or a reaction training map. So let's pick the AK here and I'm gonna show you how it works. So I like to play on uh, level 2. Uh, you change up here. You can either go over here or you just shoot the different numbers. But I like to play from 2. I'm gonna play from 1 right now just to showcase how it works. You press start and you should pr place your crosshair right here in the middle. And then you should flick out to these red... Uh, what, what can you call it? The red buttons and you should shoot them and you're gonna hear when you hit them. And everything gets counted up here as you see. Shots failed and hits. So right now when I'm talking I'm missing pretty much, uh, but if I focus I should be able to hit every single one. And normally I play on 4-3 resolution, so this wasn't too good, so let me do a very very fast one on 4-3 resolution. I figure I'll just put the audio over this part because I didn't see, say anything while I did this. So that was it for today's video. I did showcase the five uh, workshop maps that I use the most and that I find really helpful and fun for sometimes. I do sit on these uh, workshop maps like a few times a day or week at least to just be a little bit warmed up before competi competitive matches and stuff like that. You, well, if you do these maps like once or twice a week, you do really feel that you or get better every time you play on them and also by the way guys I am giving away some keys so check out my last video uh, the link about that will be in the description it's pretty easy to join so yeah guys I think that is it for today's video and as always I see you guys in the next one peace out